Welcome to this uh, STM32 in the Sky event. Uh, we are in a context of uh, four engineering schools that are working with our components, the STM32, but also other components, to do a stratospheric balloon project. It's a pleasure and we are very proud to co-organize and receive the STM32 contest in collaboration with uh, San Victor International School. So we are three students and three tutors and we are in Polytechnique Sophia Antipolis. So we are a team of seven students from Central Marseille. Uh, our project is called Sky Mars. Um, so we are the team from Isen in Crea Mediterrane uh, in Toulon. Uh, hello, we are a Polymers team from Polytech Marseille. We represent uh, microelectronic and telecommunication students. It's a very uh, huge opportunity for us to uh, promote uh, our industry, to promote our product as the STM32 in this uh, kind of challenge. So the purpose of our scientific experiment is to make a relay between devices using LoRaWAN technology, uh, which means that our balloon will work as a, as a gateway, transmitting data from a device on the ground to another one. Uh, and so we hope to cover a long range using uh, this uh, technology. So we wanted to see if the UV in the stratosphere uh, have a real impact, more important than on the Earth. So, uh, our payload is uh, filled with some yeast and we will see if they die or if they survive and how many and we will compare these results with experiences we did previously in a lab. Um, so we are doing different uh, measurements on humidity, temperature, pressure. They are the easy one I would say because we know the stratosphere is different in different steps. Uh, then there are the other ones that are more complicated, such as CO2 or magnetic field. And we are doing, also doing experiments on the flash memory. Uh, we embedded two scientific experiments. The first one is a measurement of environmental parameters. And we are uh, aiming to evaluate the pollution in the stratosphere. For the second experiment, it's a, a little bit unique. It's a, a sound wave propagation uh, estimation, how it's, uh, the sound wave propagates uh, up in the air. So it was kind of difficult because no one in the team had ever touched microelectronics before. We had never experienced something like this. But we were really helped by the ST team, so it was quite interesting to develop our own experience and our own data that we will collect later on. So difficult, but very satisfying to make it work. I think the best moment is when you don't understand, you try everything and at one moment you change a single thing and everything works. You can see your payload on the internet, for instance, and that's really satisfying. For having fun, it was uh, really an interesting experience and a challenge by using ST products, developing some new features in our teamwork, like uh, designing the PCB. Uh, that was not easy and we have all been working on that. And we have worked like a group and uh, when we had uh, difficult moments, we acted like a solid team and uh, helping each other. So it's really a teamwork building project. Um, so we are using the STM32L4. We are using this one because it has low power. And as we know, we need to save power during the ascent and the descent. And then we are using uh, GPS and LoRa devices. We also used um, uh, Atolic and STM32 Cube to program uh, our pod. We used 
embed libraries. We also received the new board and then by practicing C++ programming, we succeeded in uh, programming the car. We know that other teams are very uh, efficient, but this is a competition, so we hope to, to win, yes. Ex-Marseille University. Polytech Marseille. Microelectronic and Telecommunications Department. SDF 32 in the sky. High altitude balance.